Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to add fractions and decimals. And I'll work this problem where I will convert the decimal, excuse me, the fraction to a decimal, and this one I will convert the decimal into a fraction. So let's get started. Okay, to convert three fourths into a decimal, we just divide three, the denominator by the numerator. Let's put a decimal point there and a couple placeholder zeros. Make sure we add, move up the decimal. Four will not go into three because it's larger. I can put a zero here if I'd like. And so four will go into 37 times. Seven times four is 28. Okay, 30 minus 28 is 20, and four goes into 25 times. So three fourths is 75 hundredths. So now we can add. So we have. 75 hundredths that we created here, and we're going to add that to 25 hundredths. And when we add these, this equals 1. If you would like to see this, it's 75 and 25 hundredths. Okay, put the decimal here. 5 plus 5 is 10. We're going to carry 1. So that 7 plus 1 is 8, 9, 10. And so that's how we get the 1. Okay. So there's the answer to the first one. Now we're going to convert 75 hundredths into a fraction. And if you notice, we have two digits to the right of the decimal. So I'm going to write a 1 and add two digits. Now I'm going to place 75 on top of this. I'm going to reduce by dividing, because I can simplify, by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 25, 75 divided by 25 is 3. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So look, now we have a fraction. So now we can add 1 half plus 3 fourths. Okay. Common denominator, let's see. Let's put out factors for 2, 2, 4. So there we go. 2 goes into 4 two times. So we'll mo multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So now we have fractions, okay? The 1 half became a 2 fourths, so we can add it because we have common denominators. So now 2 fourths plus 3 fourths. We add 2 plus 3 is 4. Five and keep the four. If you would like, you can convert that to a mixed number. Five divided by four is one, and we have one left over. Or now we can convert it even into a decimal. So we'll go five divided by four. Okay. Uh, and let's place some zeros, some placeholder zeros. Four goes into five one time. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 0. 4 goes into 10 two times. Make sure you place the decimal there. 2 times 4 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Bring down this 0. 4 goes into 25 times. So there it is in decimal form. 1 and 2500. I hope that was helpful in adding fractions and decimals.